there, starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. If you've never ventured into my sector of the universe before, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if this video resonates with you, please illuminate that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. For those of you who are returning, Thank you so much for joining me for another uh, Light Counterpart Weekly and for your loyalty and support. I do have a couple quick announcements. Um, the last day to get 25% off uh, a Light Counterpart reading on my website at capellawellness.com is March 31st. So if you want a personal letter or um, a reading, status of your contract with your counterpart, things like that, go ahead and hop over to my website. And just use the code MAY25 to get 25% off your reading. The last day is May 31st. And I will have another um, discount for a while. Actually, I'm prompted by Spirit to do the discounts. Anyway, there's that. The other thing is I'm going to be going live on YouTube Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They're going to be called the Capella Sanctuary Talks. I'm going to sit with whoever joins me. We're going to talk about your journey and kind of build that community to go over what everyone's going through. Um, I will answer your questions. I will also pull tarot um, for those who have a question. Ask one question, one question only. It could be anything at all. Most of you will probably ask a question about your masculine, which is fine. But um, I'm only going to allow one question per, for, per person. But the point is to help give you guys more guidance on this journey as opposed to just doing these types of readings, okay? Um, I will go for as long as spirit tells me to. It could be an hour. It could be two hours. Maybe it'll go beyond that. But I'm going, I've am going. i been guided to do these lives on Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So hopefully you guys will be joining me there. And we will, you know... I will help you guys get get through your journey and we'll just talk about stuff and I encourage you guys to to be vulnerable not to be afraid because remember this is part of your healing too I had to go through this I wouldn't be doing YouTube videos because I was petrified of being in front of camera of being in the spotlight that type of thing my north node is in Leo I'm a Leo rising as well with a life path of nine so <laughs> This is completely different from how I used to be growing up. I would hide behind my mother's skirt. I would hide everywhere, okay? So this is part of where it, um, spirit, this journey is trying to get you guys, okay? So don't be afraid to, to engage with other people who are going through similar things in your light counterpart journey and start opening up. I Spirit is telling me these lives, if you're actually going to be willing to do the work for this journey. These lives are going to help you get to build more of um, a community. The stronger, uh, the more people there are, the stronger the light becomes, that type of thing, right? It's going to help you open up a bit and not be afraid to be who you are because a lot of the feminines need to learn how to love themselves and to not be afraid of anyone, to not do things for other people just to please other people, right? Um, to do things for themselves and become ultimately fearless in everything that you do. Because once you start living your dharma, you have to get to that point of being fearless so that nothing can knock you down. You're going to have to have that strong spiritual strength. It's like the king of wands, who's the king of light. He has achieved spiritual mastery and his spiritual strength is so strong, nothing can break him or her. Again, right? It, it, it's both. Anyway, that being said, lives on Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys who are watching this will join me there and um, it'll be lighthearted, right? It's not going to be like Debbie Down or Doom and Gloom. I mean, I will be channeling. So if Spirit has something very serious to say, it's going to come out. I can't help that. You know, this is this is a tough journey, but, you know, you will come out victorious. But you just have to get through it. All right. So that's the last I have in my announcements. Um, it's the same kind of setup they want me to do. We're going to check on what the masculine is doing right now, what he needs to focus on, what the feminine is doing right now and what she needs to focus on. And again, masculine, feminine, these are energies. 
It could be he or she, but I think a lot of you know this already. We will get guidance for both. We will get messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine, and we're going to get overall guidance for the connection, okay? So let's check in and see what the Masculines are doing right now. Spirit Guides, Angels, Galactic Family, Plating Series. Please reveal to me for my highest good and the highest good of the collective. What are the Divine Masculines doing? right now what's going on with them right now please and thank you thank you for your okay wow <laughs> we have the seven of cups in reverse look what's at the bottom of the deck the ten of swords guys this is saying that the divine masculines in this collective, they are done. This pain that they've been going through with this type of energy, confusion, choosing the wrong cup, distractions, addictions, right? Procrastination, not doing anything and just being all up in their head, being, you know, too up in the clouds, they're done with this. It's painful. They're like, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I feel dead. I don't want to do this anymore. 10, it's completion. Look at all these swords. The life's lessons, right? The thoughts, the clouded, you know, uh, the deceptive thoughts, clouded judgment, all these life's lessons, everything that he's been experiencing has not been serving him well because he hasn't been making the right choice before. But now that he has this and this, he's starting to gain focus. He's starting to see all of the choices that he made that were poor. And it's, it's killed him. This is the killing of his old self. There's like no more of this. No more victim energy. No more trying to escape. Because of this pain. And this is not just pain from being separated from the feminine. This is this part of that. But this is also pain from his past. Like childhood wounds and you know, the mistakes that he's made and just being like, why is my life going around in circles? And then he's realizing, well, I'm the one who's causing my life to go around in circles. This needs to stop. Now he's getting, gaining focus. He's starting to see things clearly now. This is really awesome. So now we're going to see what he needs to focus on for this week. What does the mask? What do the masculines need to focus on for this week? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian, Syrians, please and thank you. What do the masculines need to focus on for this week? You got to hold up. Interesting. Five of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck last week. Okay, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm getting excited. I hope the feminine energy is a little bit different, but hey, you know, um, it, it's just a work in progress, guys. It's, but this is good. Masculines have five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, if you watched my last weekly. Look at all these pentacles, guys. This is things in the physical realm. This is actually doing the work you have three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this guy look he's and, and three of pentacles and rider weight has three people right this one has one this is why i'm guided to pick these decks because of the imagery he's starting to build things focusing on his pentacles this is his ace that he's working towards He's starting to find out what it is he needs to be doing on this earthly plane, his purpose. He's realizing that this is a new opportunity for him to better himself. 
God is giving him a second chance. That's what I just heard. Spirit just said God is giving the masculines a second chance. And they're starting to realize that that all is not lost. That they have to be true to themselves and come to terms with what it was that they weren't doing for their own betterment. That they are not the victim here. If you think you're a victim, you're allowing that. Your, your thoughts create your reality, right? If you're going to be accusing everybody of your pain, of your sorrow, I can't get through this, I can't do this. Honestly, that's on you because you have all the power. You are of the divine light. You are God's creation. There is nothing wrong with you. There, anything that goes on in your life, you have a choice in everything and you should always choose the light and not allow anyone to dim it or take it from you so the masculines are starting to do the work they're finding what gives them joy what gives them purpose like yeah you know i'm building these pentacles now look what i've done mom hey look my i made it i think that's a panic at the disco song <laughs> so that just came in so yeah Look at how they're they're starting to build and work on, on aligning their mind, body, and spirit, that trinity, because they need that to get them to a more solid place. In here, what they're focusing on, look at this. This is getting, seeking help. This is actually realizing I'm going to focus on my pentacle like I was talking about. This is a golden opportunity from the divine. This is a gift. This whole encounter with the divine feminine, this whole journey is a gift from God. Wake up, masculines. We have something for you to do. You don't have to be conformed to what society tells you who you can and can't be anymore. You don't have to conform to having to, to have money just to have a happy life. Um, I'll throw in something real quick here. This is kind of funny because I had a conversation with my ex-husband just last week. He was visiting here and he actually told me, Jess, I just realized that money doesn't buy you happiness. <laughs> right? And I say this because it seems like a lot of people, not just the divine masses, are starting to realize this now. That the 3D world, the bigger house, the fancier car, you know the bigger boobs, the prettier face, whatever it is, doesn't get you your happiness. It doesn't because if you don't have it inside, nothing in the material plane is going to bring you that satisfaction. So now he's starting to lay a new foundation for a new beginning. The ace again, see you have this guy's holding on to it. And she's holding on to it. And look, look what's underneath. Okay, hold up a second. So you don't think I'm pulling stuff. Look what's underneath the three of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, guys. He's working towards his ten of pentacles, the ultimate achievement. Working on his money too, right? He's working on his finances because before he was like, I did talk about last week how some of them are in financial ruin. Why? Because of this. This would have been in the upright and then they would have been like, oh, I'm gambling addictions, you know, thinking that I need to spend money to, you know, I need to have the car to, to get chicks. I need to have that money to have other men look at me like I have power. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Okay. And they're starting to realize this now. Now they're building a solid foundation for themselves. I'm seeing the emperor right now where they want to be the emperor of their own world, build their own empire. And that's divine masculine. This is essentially where they need to get to on their journey. They're starting to do the hard work to get away from doubt, lack of self-confidence. This is also building their health too. Cause I said that some of them, they could be all of these things, sick, depressed, like, I feel down and out. Woe is me, right? No more woe is me. They realize, nope, I need to keep my eyes on the prize. I need to focus. I need to start embarking on a new journey. Like page of wands. I need to start some, follow my passion, do something that really lights me up. Find my ace of wands and start creating for myself. And three of pentacles is also creation. 
right? Using your creativity and just getting this high off of like, wow, I can actually build something. I could, it could be building a business. It could be, you know, building a better health for themselves, finding something that is going to get them to the 10. And some of them are starting to realize that if, if they start real finding out that what they tap into their creativity, their divine feminine side, they are going to, it will bring them the material wealth that they want. But they're not just chasing the dollar anymore. This is chasing the light, following it and holding it. To be in alignment with that. Because you cannot bring in what you really want if you're not in alignment with it. That goes for the both of you, for both feminines and, and masculines. And here they are. They're going to start focusing on that pentacle, doing the hard work, setting goals for themselves. This is all about goals, you guys. It's it's all in the physical plane. Getting to work. They're going to get this done. I see Knight of Pentacles again. It's like, I got to buckle down and get this done and focus on this to lay a better foundation for my future. This is wonderful. Okay, feminines. Oh. Let's use the other deck because I want to use the other deck for you guys. That's what I'm prompted to do. All right. That doesn't belong here. <laughs> Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, please, Syrians. We're going to clarify the cards too, by the way. Um, you know what? Oh, wait. Spirit's telling me to tell, clarify now. Okay. I usually do it after, but they want me to clarify now because we can finish the masculine. Okay. Can we clarify the Seven of Cups in reverse? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Fantastic. Look what we got here, guys. The Queen of Swords. No more bullshit. They are cutting out all the bullshit. The bullshit cups. Stuff that doesn't bring him happiness, fulfillment. The illusions, the addictions, everything that everyone told them that they thought that they need in their lives, it's all, all those, they're emptying out of the cups. All right. I'm seeing them empty out the cups. It's the cups are spilled, but those are the cups that were bringing them fulfillment. And now with this queen of, of swords energy, this is very powerful here because she's focused. She's focused on what it is she needs to do for her betterment. She doesn't make excuses. She doesn't justify things. She's learning her life's lessons, and that's what I was talking about. She's becoming wiser because of the life's lessons, the hard knocks that she's been through. Again, with all the crap that they have, the poor choices they had been making. No more addictions, no more being up in their head, clouded judgment, listening to what other people tell them to, too. Because she, well, she will listen to you, but if you come to her with crap and excuses and you keep doing the same things, the shadow side of her will come out. She'll be like, you know, screw you. Uh, go away, peasant. <laughs> She may very well cut your head off. If she's been giving you counsel and you haven't been listening, she's like, don't come back to me for, for wisdom and guidance. No, you're not listening. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up on. So this is, this is awesome because they're cutting that shit out and they're very serious about it. It's like starting to stand in that power. They're like, I'm done with this. I need to be more mentally strong. And, and embarking on my journey to union with self and healing and changing my world around. And we have three of wands at the bottom of the deck. Expansion. Another three at the bottom, guys. Expansion and creation. We've got threes at the bottom of the decks. They really want to change things. I'm not resting on my laurels. I was talking about the ace. He has the ace of wands in his hands. In his hand over there. And it's in the, okay, this is the first time I've noticed this. It's in his right hand and Spirit's telling me it's in the right hand because he's choosing, he's going in the right direction. <laughs> he's doing the right thing. 
by making long-term plans and setting those goals. Okay, I need to execute this. It's just like the Queen of Wands, uh, not Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. She gets divine guidance. These aha moments, these ideas. She sticks to them and she takes action. And she starts, she follows her truth and she speaks it. She tells herself, I am going to be focused on this and dedicated. I am being shown by the divine what it is I need to do, my path to spiritual truth, and I'm going to get there. It's like here. I am going to call in my ships, my abundance that I deserve. But I know that I have to do the right thing and start changing things so I could be in alignment with that. Wow. I love this. All right. Queen of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, guys. Was that, did I say this was the page? I am so sorry. I don't even know if I said it. I got to backtrack, guys. My bad. It's the queen. That's, this is even better. I thought this was the page. Sorry, guys. Look at this. The Queen of Pentacles. Healing. Self-nurturing. Taking good care of himself. This is still in alignment with the page. They must have told me the page for a reason. Maybe the page will clarify. I don't know. But this is even bigger. They're going from Five of Pentacles to the Queen. That's a major jump. They're focusing on knowing their worth. She also builds a divorce. She has a kingdom, a queendom here. All right. She already has this pentacle. Nobody's taking this pentacle from me. I worked hard for it. I built it myself. Screw you. You're not taking it from me. No one takes anything from this queen of pentacles. She believes in miracles. She's harmonious with her environment. And she is of excellent health. This is exactly what they are working on. Okay, my bad. I had to go back there. Now we're going to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Can you please clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, please? And thank you for what the Divine Masculines need to focus on. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Wow, you guys. It's the counterpart. It's the King of Pentacles. You see this? And now this is also telling me, and I knew it because I didn't say it yet. You guys, because they kind of see you as the queen, you're giving them inspiration to come out of this. All right? They see you as this queen of their world. And you are inspiring them to do this. And that's why those the leader twin feminines, it catapults the masculines to do their work. This is how it works. And now we have the king of pentacles clarifying this. Again, another earth energy. It's in the physical realm, guys. Like they're really focusing on getting to this this is the master healer of the self he is the master manifester he is wise he is grounded and stable he wants to be the ultimate provider for himself and for you feminines we have the married couple too so what i'm also getting from this is here are the counterparts guys this is essentially where both of you guys are supposed to get to. Look at this, king and queen. This is something. I'm also getting that they have these aspirations to, to marry you, but they know that we know if they don't do this work, they cannot be who they used to be, especially if they want to have a family. They want to build this empire, you know, go into business together to heal other people, that type of thing. 
they can't get there unless they do the work. Nobody can get there unless they do the work. And it's hard work. But, you know, God's like, as long as you have faith in me and you just carry forth of what it is that I'm guiding you toward, everything will be okay. This is your spiritual path. Holy cow, like this is really significant, you guys, with the king and queen here. That's also saying they're focusing on, on balancing the masculine and feminine energies. So that in the physical plane, they can be solid and grounded and stable and not have anyone to throw them at all. And we have another queen down here. Look at this. Queen of Pentacles. Being in tune with their emotions, trusting and listening to their emotions. She is the keeper of the Holy Grail. This is what is causing them. This is what they're focused on. If I find my Ace of Cups, my fulfillment, what makes me happy, what brings me joy, which is what I was talking about before, I will be able to attain this in the physical and have everything I could ever want. They're so dead set on this, feminines. It's unbelievable. Like, I see... Some of them are like, I see their faces and some of them are sitting at desks and they're just, they're literally writing out plans and goals. Some of them have a whiteboard. Some of them are, are like putting these reminders on their phones to do this, go jog five miles every Monday morning and, and eat this and go shop for this. And, um, I want to be here. I now they're telling me they're having vision boards too. This is something guys, I'm seeing so many things, but this is them focusing on that Ace of Cups. And this is also the true love, right? Because they're also understanding what this connection is as well. That love heals all things. And it's unconditional love for themselves, for their feminines, for all people, all animals, everything, everything. Being vulnerable, opening their heart to this love and also opening themselves up and not being afraid of this emotion, of their emotions, period. Okay? That's the cup that they're realizing they need to, to grab on. They need to follow. It's the ace right here. Wow, this is pretty awesome. All right. No wonder I felt in a good mood today. <laughs> well, I always do. But coming into this reading, I can always feel the energies before I, I do anything. So... I'm like, there's something different here. All right, guys. We're going to see what the um, feminines are at. What are the feminines doing right now? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What are the feminines up to right now? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, shit, man. Guys, all these pentacles are coming out. Holy balls. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, I did. Who cares? I don't care anymore. You, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. I am so... Wow. Ace of pentacles. Feminines. Two of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. And then we have, who's here again? Queen of Swords, Feminines. You are coming into your power. What you've been doing, now see how amazing this is? This is both and what's going on right now. Queen clarifies Seven of Cups in reverse. Queen shows up. Queen of Swords shows up at the bottom of your deck. This is phenomenal, you guys. And it's another queen here. We've got a lot of kings and queens. We have three queens and a king here. You're listening to the divine guidance and you're starting to take action and cutting off what doesn't serve you. Learning your life's lessons from the hard knocks, just like I was talking about with the masculine. Understanding that you speak your truth and you don't deal with the bullshit. You cut out people who are not in alignment with you. You don't deal with the bullshit of the masculine either, right? You're like, she's independent. She's a divorced person. She's single, okay? She's single. And a lot of you, I'm starting to realize, realize I'm, I'm feeling that 
they're like, okay, you know what? I need to do this on my own. I got to cut this bullshit out. No more bullshit. No more bullshit. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm focusing on my pentacle right here. You apparently have reevaluated things in your life with the seven of pentacles here. You did a reevaluation of, you know, your physical world. Realizing, you know what, you know, me trying to follow, chase the masculine, me trying to, to control things, to force things, it's not working. I need to be more patient. This is what you guys are doing. I need to be more patient. I need to keep going on my journey towards my ace of pentacles. Here you go. This is you really working on your pentacles, doing the work. You're trying to, you're play, you've been planting better seeds so that you can have this. A new start, a fresh start, a new life, a new beginning. More stable, more solid, more prosperous. Because you started again to realize, oh, I reevaluate what, what am I doing? Kind of like the masculine. Started realizing that you don't need 3D stuff. You don't need the physical, you're, you're masculine there all the time. You don't need to be communicating in the 3D all the time. A few of you may have been, you know, and this is not a knock on you guys. I'm just saying it because I'm picking it up just like a, a couple of you, a few of you, like I said, who were trying to, you know, have somebody else, you know, provide for you because you were fearful or you were scared of actually stepping into your power and doing things for yourself and having somebody give you, you know, financial support. Again, that's for a few of you. And that's okay because we, we end up realizing that when we have our, or we stand in our own power, we can build material wealth for ourselves too. Okay. We can get that ace of pentacles. And with the two of pentacles here, look, this guy's focused on the ace. Okay. You guys are really planting new seeds and, and starting to build things, change things in your physical world because you are focused on this ace too. Look at all the stuff that's going on in the 3D, but you guys are doing it on your own. This is exactly what needs to happen. Yes, we would like to help each other out and go through this journey together, but that's not what spirit wants for us. It defeats the purpose. We have to become strong in ourselves Learn to value ourselves and pentacles, right? There's value here. Not finding value from somebody else. You become stronger when you know your true worth and your true value. And that's when you start realizing things and you cut things out of your life and you work towards your stability because you need to be stable before you start embarking on other uh, ventures, other... Um, What's it called? It's preparing you for your life's purpose, pretty much. See, this guy, he's looking at that pentacle. This is different from the Rider weight, where the guy's like all oh, topsy-turvy and, you know, look, the waters are calm here, guys. And there's the moon with the dolphin. Dolphin is uh, Pleiadians, communication. Maybe some of you are star seeds and you are starting to contact your galactic family. Some of you may very well be Pleiadians. And look, the moon, we just had the full moon Sagittarius. It looks like this full moon had you realize some things. You're trusting your intuition. You're listening to divine guidance. Okay, it's time for me to buckle down and get things done too. I'm changing the way I see this connection, the way I act the way I try to go after my masculine, try to get some validation, the way I try to control things, the way I get, you know, all hung up and I'm sorrowful and why my life isn't different and why my masculine isn't communicating or whatever this may be. You're starting to realize, wait, I really need to change things. This is change is inevitable. Change is coming and it's inevitable. 
and I have to balance out my life's priorities just like the masculine does, guys. This is serious mirroring right here. When you start to balance stuff out, you see the masculine starts to balance out too. And both of you are realizing this is an opportunity for you to start over. To be yourself, to become the person you were destined to be. Holy cow. Wow. All right, Queen of Swords, good for you. Oh, also, huh, as I split the deck, look who shows up again from last week, the death card. Transformation, it's over, it's changing. I need to change. This is also telling me, um, oh man, I lost my train of thought. Crap. I'll come back to it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Scorpio. Death card. Um, what was it, Spirit? Oh, emotions. Thank you. This means you guys are having head heart balance. She's the least emotional of the queen. So this means, you guys, you are not overly emotional with this connection anymore. You're starting to really think clearly and focus on what it is you need to do. Your emotions aren't getting the best of you. And this is awesome because you guys did have like Queen of Cups energy there. If it wasn't last week, it was some week. All right, we're going to see what um, you need to focus on. What do the divine feminines need to focus on for this week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Awesomeness. Yeah. Page of Swords. Look at that page's face. Like, yeah. I'm the shit. I'm starting off new. This is a new beginning for me. It may be a challenge, but I'm up for the challenge. You know why? Because I have the Ace of Swords in my hands. I'm starting to gain insight and awareness into this connection. I'm learning my truth. What it is that I need to do. Hey guys. Mercury retrograde hasn't even started yet. My camera shut off. It stopped. So I'm recording again. And re it goes retrograde tomorrow. I'm recording this on the uh, 28th. Okay. What you guys need to focus on is your path to truth. Realizing that, you know, I have this ace continuing to cut things out of your life. Yeah, you know what? I I'm starting this new like I said, I can I can get through this. I can get through this challenge. This is the page of swords telling you that you can overcome any challenge. Okay? And you can. You really can. This is you focusing on focusing <laughs> on yourself, on your truth, on your purpose. Okay? This is you gaining, uh, you're getting these ideas. You're getting these insights. Oh, I need to do this. I need to do that. Oh, this is a great idea. I could start on this. This this guy has a lot of energy. He's very ambitious. And um, he's starting to learn how to communicate more with his or her guides, with spirit. This is starting to heal the inner childhood wounds from maybe you were um, given harsh words as a child. Maybe growing up you were not being treated fairly by people. They were being very blunt and they would speak to you in this manner that wasn't pleasant. Harsh words. I keep hearing harsh words and... This is probably also from, you know, maybe your masculines have said some things to you in the past that were not nice. And it hurt, cut like a knife, right? And now you're starting to realize, I don't have to deal with this. I need to move forward with this and heal these, these wounds from words that were said to me. These ideas that I thought that people said that I had to follow these thoughts that I had about myself that weren't pure, that weren't of the light. In the bottom of the deck, we have 
four of pentacles. Here, here's more earth energy. Here's more physical realm stuff. You guys are focusing on finding, understanding what your value is. Look how close you're holding those pentacles to you. Your worth, your truth, your emotions, your intellect. Even though these are pentacles, that's what I just got from spirit, what these are supposed to symbolize. These are mine and mine alone. These are things that are dear to you. And the biggest one here is your worth, your value, that you are of value and that nobody can treat you, you will not allow anyone to treat you poorly ever again or to say things to you, poor things to you ever again. This is you focusing on cutting out your, your poor habits the scarcity mindset, right? I did talk about some of you are afraid of, you know, money too, or trying to have somebody else who, who's supposed to support you because you're afraid of something. This is you starting to embark on that new thing. While it's a challenge, you're taking the risks and you're starting to see what your true value is. This is what you need to focus on, actually, if you haven't been doing this already. Focusing on your worth, your material wealth, right? You building a solid foundation, finding that alchemical balance within you. And finding a sanctuary, like four is also stability and home, right? A place where you call home, a place where you can go away and really start doing your spiritual practices, meditation, Start grabbing all these things to help you to get there, to build a more solid foundation for yourself. And success and accomplishments. All right. So again, this guy is focused on what it is that he needs to do. And then he gets to the night where he understands his mission, his purpose, and he blazes through and he's laser focused and he's completely ambitious and dedicated to completing his mission to get to his destination. All right, we're now going to clarify all of the pentacles there. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian, Syrians, can you please clarify the energies for what is going on with the feminines, the ace of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the seven of pentacles. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Wow. I can't get over this reading. Oh, wow, you guys. My goodness gracious. Oh, oh. Hold up. Huh, I was talking about the King of Wands. He showed up. Look. Look, you guys. The Seven of Cups in the upright. The bottom of the deck here. You seeing that, you know, you needing to choose the right cup too? Balancing things out, realizing, oh, okay. I need to pick the cup that's going to bring me my ace too. Look what came out. You guys got seven cards. You have, not seven cards. I'm saying that because it's seven of swords, five cards. Seven of swords, the king of wands, the high priestess. Here's 10 of swords, the empress. Okay. They came out this way, so let's do this. It's like we're playing poker or something. The deceptive thoughts, right? Putting an end to it. The lies, the mask wearing, the betrayal, the dishonesty. See, look, at the end there is the Empress. The Empress doesn't deal with that. She puts an end to that. 
Like the queen, right? No more bullshit. She's the ultimate no, no bullshit. She's like, I know my worth. I have everything come to me. I'm putting this to an end. Look, here's this ten of swords here again. This was at the bottom of the deck for what the masculines were working on. Now it's clarifying your stuff for what you're working on. You are starting to trust your intuition. You're getting those intuitive insights, feminines. This is what you need to do. Now with the King of Wands here, this could very well be getting insights into you realizing that, you know, you were dealing with the Queen, King of Wands and the Shadow Sense because they were being sneaky and deceptive and dishonest because they were either trying to get in your pants or, you know, they were just being charming for whatever reasons. But of course, there were reasons for that too, right? You weren't dealing, I'm not dealing with this shadow side, this shadow king of wands here, this Casanova. Somebody who's just like sneaking away after he gets what he wants type of thing, right? Secrets. Not saying things, right? What's going on? I'm being silent. Yeah, because I'm trying to get away with stuff. I don't want to deal with the truth, right? I was just in it for the sex or I was just in it for, you know, because this guy is smooth with words and he knows how to to attract women. This guy is an attractive dude, not just physically, but, you know, how he is as a person, right? He's very charismatic. And so now you guys are like, okay, you know what? And and But then you know that there's something hidden there and your intuition is telling you, oh, there's something off here. And you're like, I'm putting an end to this. There's too much pain. I'm done with the pain and the sorrow. I'm done being a victim here. I need to step into my Empress power here. I really do. I need to find my worth. And I have to stop lying to myself and I have to stop being um, distracted by the masculine, distracted by all of these illusions and all these other things that I'm, I'm thinking will get me my happiness to include getting validation and, and, and communication in the 3D from my masculine all the time. Um, trying to deal with this pain by, by, you know, choosing things that do not fulfill my happiness. Escapism, that's what I want to say. Both of you are realizing you cannot escape this, but going to other things, doing other things is not going to help you either. It's really time to focus on yourself, start building your wealth and your knowing what your value is. Because the ace, starting new, this is the opportunity for both of you to start anew. Please clarify the page of swords. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support and your clarity. My gosh, we have so much pentacle energy here. This is amazing. Look what we got. We're talking about self-worth, right? Your nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is clarifying the page. Ideas and insights. Taking action. Knowing that you can overcome these challenges. Changing things around because... This is you focusing on learning, on doing how to better yourself to get to the nine of pentacles. She does this on her own. She finds her self-fulfillment, her self-worth, her self-confidence on her own. Everybody comes to her and she just started because she worked hard to get here. This is you cutting away that stuff and not listening to what everyone is telling you to do. Because you are starting to listen to the divine and there's no more fear. Like with the page of swords energy, he's like, he's ambitious. He takes these risks, right? He goes out there and, I'm going to get this done. Does his research. Looks into things. 
just focusing on and you know you want to build a business for yourself how do i do that some of you may be researching that i want to build a business for myself how do i do this these guys are starting to to fill out documents and paperwork and stuff to get you know your business going this is you focusing on building for yourself feminines this is exactly what if you haven't been focusing on this already this is what you got to focus on for this week this is your material wealth, your abundance, your self-confidence. No more fear-based thinking. No more fear of anything. You are harmonious with your environment. You are content. You are happy on your own because she's single. If this card is in this deck and it comes out, this, this totally means you can attain this. This is exactly what I did too. I was too focused on outs the outside world and especially having like some romantic partner to fulfill my happiness, to validate that I was, you know, this amazing person or that I was worthy of whatever. No, I had to find that within myself. This is your own joy and contentment and you found it on your own. That's exactly what I did. I don't need anyone or anything to bring me all of this. No, no, I don't. When the masculine comes in and stuff, that's a bonus, right? But that's not what the point of this journey is. This journey, I have to get to here. And then we have the empress, right? That was clarifying what was going on with you. You're starting to realize this. Now I need to stand in my divine feminine power and own up to it. The crown of stars. I need to listen to my divine guidance because I can get here and look. Once she gets through this, then she gets to the queen. The queen is here, you guys. This is all about self-worth. Your journey to self-love and your self-worth and realizing that this is who you are supposed to be this lifetime. The empress. No more victim mentality. No more people trying to sabotage you you sabotaging yourself you telling you that you're not pretty enough that you're not worthy enough that you're not smart enough that you're not aggressive enough that you're not strong enough it's all bullshit guys it's all bullshit because look this is what this is your focus for the week you finding your nine pentacles right there wow so much stuff in here at the bottom of the deck You got to cut this out. No worrying. You're not alone. Don't worry about being alone, feminines. Don't worry about doing this alone. There is hope here. Don't be in the depths of despair when you do that, when you do this on your own, because you're being told that you need to do it. And I've been hearing from some people in the comments or sending me emails, they're like, yep, yeah, I'm really getting hit with it. And I, I really, I'm having dreams and all these things. I really need to understand that I have to do this on my own. Your guides are with you, okay? Your angels are with you. A lot of us don't really realize that. I had the same thing. I wasn't realizing that either. And yeah, it was hard sometimes because it's like, man, and I was losing all these people, quote unquote. But you know why? It was because God said they're no longer in alignment with you, Jess. They need to, they've done their purpose in your life and they, I now need to move them out to pull them out because now we're going to bring you the people who need to be in your life. And that's exactly what's been happening. But you can't worry and have fear about being alone, feminines. No, this is you doing this for yourself this is god why god wants you to do this wait till you see when you become full the empress the divine feminine christ here how much your life is going to change and the things that come to you as a result of that because the empress everything comes to her she manifests so well she knows her worth and she knows how to the law of attraction works and the law of giving and receiving everything comes to her and she is trusting of the divine at all times. She's never in this energy. 
She doesn't worry. She's not fearful. Some of you may be having nightmares because, you know, maybe, you know, this might be a scary thing for you where you have to leave a job and, and you're afraid of starting your own business maybe and you're afraid of the challenges that are coming with this. And you're like, can I do this, Spirit? Can I do this? Yes, you can. Shit, if I did it, <laughs> you guys can totally do this, okay? Be strong. Be confident. You're more worthy than you think you are. And you need to own that and you need to show the world what you're made of. So don't focus on worrying and having fear. Okay, I'm also getting for a few of you with focusing. They also don't want you to, to go back into, um, they said spying with the Page of Swords card, um, with checking up on, you know, social media about your masculines or stuff. Oh, you know what, This also, that's also you looking at other people's lives on social media and how happy they are and some for some of you this may be causing this for you maybe you're seeing other people are in union you're like oh my gosh you know i'm not there yet but did you do the work did you do the work honestly be honest with yourself this is for some of you this is for a few of you okay i'm seeing like four or five people maybe if this is you checking up on social media, comparing yourself, your worth to theirs, don't do that. Don't do that because it's bringing you this. No, don't. You need to focus on yourself. And you know what? Usually when people, you know, are out there, especially on Facebook and stuff, oh, I have this wonderful life. I don't know. Maybe they do, but maybe they don't. I ended up finding out that some of my colleagues, they were all making some show because they were really like this inside. Don't do that. And don't get hung up on what other people are doing either. Again, this is just for four or five of you. Your worth comes from you, all right? You have to find your Ace of Cups, your fulfillment. This is what you need to get to, all right? That Empress is over there. This is your opportunity, your golden opportunity to change your whole world. Okay, I'm telling you, just watch what happens when you do the work. I wouldn't be where I'm at if I wouldn't have gone through all this stuff in my journey. I would not. I wouldn't be doing these videos either. I wouldn't have the balls to go live either. So it's a lot, you guys. But it's amazing what changes for you. Um and what the universe gives back to you. Anyway, we're going to get guidance for the Divine Masculine. What guidance do we have for the Divine Masculine for this week? Oh, okay. Trying to knock off the King of Pentacles here. No. Aquamarine. Divine Life Purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. Yep. So masculine, some of you are watching. I know. Thank you for being here. So the few masculines who are watching, there you go. You need to trust your heart, okay? You guys are being led in the right direction. Don't worry about those, those seven of cups in the upright. You guys are on the right path here. And feminines, this is what's going on. Cutting all that stuff so that they can really start understanding what their life's purpose is and what brings them fulfillment. Right? I just said fulfillment. Because the Seven of Cups in the upright was not leading them there. Own your divine power, Sugalite. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. How can that not be any more clear than what this is with the Queen of Swords clarifying the Seven of Cups in the reverse? Codependencies, right? Seven of Cups in the upright. No, I'm pouring all those cups out. No more of this bullshit. Assertiveness and empowerment. That is the Queen 
swords energy own your power i was talking about stepping into their power especially in their divine feminine power their masculine power everything this is really awesome. And the bottom of the deck is appetite, which is progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others. I was just telling the feminines that, right? You feminines, don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. This is, this is so much mirroring here, guys. It's unreal because, yeah. I had said all these illusions, I have to do this, I have to make this money, I have to be this person and whatever, whatever. Don't, don't, neither of you should be doing this. No more. Not comparing or judging. It's okay. When we make those mistakes and we've chosen the wrong cup time and time again, it's okay. But the big thing here is, guys, that when you realize this and you take action to change that, and choose what God tells you to do, that is the big reward there. That is an amazing turnaround. And you should have you should be proud of yourself for knocking over those cups and like I'm done with this. I'm going to seek my ace of cups, my ace of pentacles, all the aces, my new beginnings and everything in life. Okay, now we're going to see what the guidance we have for the feminines. What guidance do we have for the divine feminines for this week, please? Oh my God, what is with these cards? Yikes. Oh, man. Okay, feminines, we have quite a few, but they want me to take them all. Turquoise. I said spiritual path. I knew this card would come out. Spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Holy cow. This is not, this is what I was saying. This is what this whole reading is about for both of you. But here it is for the feminines, your guidance, making the necessary life changes. The two of pentacles, like I said, prioritizing, oh, I got to change my life's priorities. I got to change what I'm doing. I need to get on my spiritual path. Look at this. Kyanite. Make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. Yep, with we have Queen of Pentacles, but that's masculine side, but still. You have the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles here. Yep, self-care. Your value, knowing your worth, taking care of you first. Not trying to control this connection and trying to, to bring union like it's nothing, like it's some regular relationship. Nope. Self-love, self-care. I was talking about that. This is very important for you, feminines, for this week. And yes, while there's a lot of work to be done, take your sea salt baths. Go get your pedicure, manicure. Go fishing go on a boat go on a tiny staycation a vacation um go to the spa get a massage whatever it is lay in your backyard and just sit there read a good book drink some tea spirit's saying make sure that you make time for yourself at least one to two times a week if you could do it every day even better i do it every day and i'm a single mom so if i can do that you can do it too okay this is going to be added to your life's priorities. Moldavite, unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't be comparing yourself. If you're comparing yourself to social media and other people, if you're starting to embark on this journey, people think, you know, you might have said something and people think you're crazy. I went through that too. Don't get hung up on that. You're unique. Every single one of us is unique. You have these special gifts that God has given you that you are supposed to utilize in this earthly plane. It's part of your life's purpose, right? It's like my automatic writing that I do for the Divine Masculine Channel Letter. Some people come to me like, well, this is weird. This is different. This is unique, right? But that is part of my gift. And I'm supposed to be a writer too. So it's like, it fits with that. Whatever uniqueness you have to you, don't be afraid of that. 
Again, release that fear because God gave that to you. There is nothing to be fearful of. And people say, shit, who cares? Who cares? Opal, let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. See, I was talking about that too. You, you, you're here for a reason. And God, this is why you are in this journey. Both of you, masculine and feminine, it's because you're supposed to shine because each of you is being called to do something specific for this planet. And one of them is to raise the vibration. Other of you have other things, but it's mainly to raise the vibration. It's like I was saying earlier, bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. Like what I'm doing now, I, before, and I have Aquarius as a self node. No, I would not be reading doing these videos, showing my face, going live, none of that. People ask me what I do and I tell them and I have no fear. Some people have dropped off when, when I told them, oh yeah, I'm doing this now. What? And then I never hear from, hear from them again. I don't care. I don't care. And you guys shouldn't care about all that stuff either. And if you're worried about what you look like, if you're not pretty enough to like start your own YouTube channel or just you, you don't look right or whatever it is, or you're masculine, you think your masculines think that they're not talking to you because you're not good enough. Don't think that you have to be good enough for yourself, not for anybody else. Okay. You guys have to shine your light. Look at all the light emitting from her crown chakra and her heart chakra. Some of you have to still continue to heal those two chakras. Calcite. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Uh, was I talking about tr escapism? Trying to do things to purposely keep you busy to kind of not really deal with the harsh realities or, or, or dealing with the hard work that involves that is involved in this journey. Busy times and multitasking and two of pentacles again, that's you balancing your prior life's priorities. And this includes you putting more self care into your routine. And yes, while there's a lot of work to do, you can manage this. Okay. But again, you have to incorporate self care into this citrine unnecessary worries release the burden of worries by giving them to god for healing and solutions this keeps coming up for the feminines and the nine of swords was the bottom of the deck for what you need to focus on right focusing on releasing these again don't worry about doing this alone in the physical about this journey don't worry about it when you come out of this it's going to be something else it really is um uh, mametrine Balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. There you go. More balancing, two of pentacles. And I talked about, and, and Empress is balancing masculine and feminine energies. I did say this earlier and I don't remember who I said it for. But either way, this goes for both. But mainly for the, the feminines, you do have to balance these things out and take action what it is you need to do and be passive when you need to be. More creativity, more action, more confidence in your abilities and what it is that you are doing in yourself. Uh, <laughs> I knew this was going to come out for the feminines. This is at the bottom of the uh, masculines uh, deck when I pulled their cards. Appetite, progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. See how far you've come, Seven of Pentacles. I got to keep going. I got to keep doing this work. I got to keep going. You just have to. It is hard. I know. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? We're not perfect. It's funny because this card came out for me for one of my readings yesterday when I was asking about something and I tend to, but for all my life, it was like too much perfection. It had to be perfect. It's like, it, no, it's not good enough, right? One of my life's lessons. And I asked something and they said, um, no, you've done everything you need to do. You don't have to do anything else. I was like, wow. And I was, I thought I was missing something and they're like, just progress, not perfection. It kind of kicked in again. Right. But then when you realize this, you don't get hung up on it. 
That's what I've had to learn too. We don't have to be perfect for ourselves, for anybody else either. We have to be ourselves. And this is progress, guys. Don't think it has to be done in exactly a certain way or, oh, maybe if I, it's not happening fast enough, am I doing something wrong? No, baby steps. And again, if you're comparing yourself to where other people are, because I have done readings where people were coming into you, and I've seen that. People were telling me, oh, what you said is exactly what happened. You are on your own timeline. That's why I picked up on you comparing yourself to other connections. You may be running into reading saying, oh, union is here. Or like, this is what's going to happen next week. Your masculine is going to come through and all this stuff. If you just started and you're still having the fear and you're worried and you're still uncertainty, certainties, you're not there yet. By the time you clear all that stuff away and you don't care about the outcome of your connection anymore, and you are living your life's purpose and you're not afraid to shine your light to the world, that's when you know that union is going to manifest and then your, your counterpart is going to really start following you in your work. But don't be perfect. It's a, it's a progress and it, it's a journey, you guys. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And you've probably heard that a gazillion times. The bottom of the deck is Moonstone, heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy. I was talking about the High Priestess card that came out, right? You already know. And from here on out, feminines, you really have to trust your intuition. Have that crown chakra, chakra open and make sure you are always communicating with your guides and with, with the divine, okay? They are going to really assist you with this and it's really going to get you to where you need to be. Oh, gosh. There's all these cards here. Okay. Um, this was longer than I wanted it to be. But Spirit's like, I don't care because <laughs> you have messages to get out from us. And I listen to what they tell me to. And again, for those of you who just don't have patience to go through these, then you're not going to have patience to do the work. And patience is required to do this work. Your shadow work. Your light work, all of that is hard and you have to be patient and don't try to rush union. This is, again, a marathon, not a sprint. Okay? I do these readings for a reason. I'm here to help the collective. But it takes work, guys. It's taken my journey. It took a long time for me to get to here, okay? Again, I don't want you guys doing what I did. Yes, it takes a while, but don't prolong it because you're still going in your karmic circles. And these, these readings are long for a reason because Spirit has so much to say because this is a, it's a challenging journey and there is a lot to do. All right. Anyway, let me stop talking and see what messages the Divine Masculine have for the Divine Feminine. What does Divine Masculine want to say to the Divine Feminine? Please and thank you. Here you go. I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now. Please know this. It's all right there, guys. Working on themselves. Responsibility for their actions, especially what they how they've treated you, what they've done with you, and with other people actions for not choosing the right cup over and over and over again i thought about reaching out to you but then i stopped myself yeah i'm seeing some of them will start drafting up an email um put it right drafting up text and then delete 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 backspace backspace whatever it is because they're like they're afraid like well maybe i should say something or see what's going on but then there, there's fear there, okay? I'm sensing a lot of fear with this card because they're afraid of what you will say and because they know that sometimes, you know, you say something to them, the masculine say something to you 
and then you have a quick conversation and then you shoot them else, something else and then they don't respond and then they can't take the reaction. It's like some of you were like, how come you're not contacting? What? What's going on? How come you're not answering me? What are you doing? Are you with the karmic? No, 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 no. That's why they don't do this. Okay. And there's also like, I want to tell them something, but then their fear kicks in because of the vulnerability. That's what they're working up. Uh, they're working on because they're still a little hesitant about being vulnerable. Even though I don't show it, I am sorry for how things went between us. There you go. They are sorry, but they know that there's so much work that they have to get done so that they can be confident like this dude. And say, you know what? I'm going to man up. I'm wiser now. I'm more solid and more grounded and more stable. I am going to tell you how sorry I am. And they, this guy, this guy has no fear. He has no fear. None. The bottom of the deck. I was talking about it. I don't think I can take your reaction right now. See? See? Both of you are not at that place yet to have that type of conversation because the work needs to be done. All right, they wanted me to show, use another message deck. What else do the masculines want to tell their feminines? Hold on, I've got too many decks on here. I need some space. Oh, this is a feminine stuff, never mind. What else do the masculines want to tell their feminines? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family. Pleiadian and Syrians. What else do the masculines want to tell their feminines? Oh, man. I think I said this. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm going in circles. Yep. Because they're, again, I had said, picking the same, the wrong cup over and over again. And they know they have to cut that out. They're working on that right now. And they're telling you, see, this is what was going on. I can't keep going in the karma, wheel of karma. That's what this is. They have to jump off the hamster wheel and they have to cut that shit out. And look here, man. Can't make this stuff up. I'm seeing through the illusions right there. I don't have to say anything more. There it is. Seeing through the illusions. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We're going to get guidance for the connection as a whole. See what spirit has for the connection. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good. What guidance do you have for both the masculines and the feminines with regards to their connection? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Inner worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. Yep. Your thoughts create your reality. 3D world is a reflection of what is inside of you. And this is what both of you are being called to change. Because your external world is not what the divine wants you to be. But that's why you have to do the inner work. So that the outside world, your 3D world, reflects that strength you are being guided by the cosmos stay strong a positive outcome is assured see strength here guys that's what i'm saying for the feminines you know you can do this don't be afraid of being alone don't be afraid of all the work that you have to do who you're going to become yes it is scary i just told you for me being you know hiding all the time and and now i have to and my purpose is to be in the spotlight do you know how crazy that was when I started to realize and I, I analyzed my birth chart and all these other things and spirit was telling me, oh, you're supposed to do this, Jess. 
North Node in Leo? Life Path 9? Destiny Path 11? It's like, wait, wait, what? No way. Leo Rising? It's like, yeah, Jess. But I had to gain that strength, right? I said, okay, I am being guided by the cosmos to do this. I have to stay strong. And Leo is strong, right? Even though it's Leo Rising, but still, it's Leo. The lion. The strength card, right? All of you got to be that light. Be the, the, like there's a Leo inside of you guys to get you through this. You got to pull that out. And they're also guiding you to build up that strength. Because like I said at the beginning of the reading, I believe you have to have this unwavering faith and strength in order to prepare yourselves for what your mission is on this planet. Okay. This is all part of the journey. Wow. Okay, guys. This was a pretty awesome reading. Really, really awesome. Masculines, keep cutting the bullshit out. Keep working on yourselves. The feminines, keep focused on your self-worth, building for yourself. This is you doing this on your own, okay? Following, you know, those ideas. And, and, and you can go through these challenges. This guy... He takes on any challenge. Have that ambition. This is your new journey to your truth. Not being affected by what people say to you. You can do this. This is where you got to go. This is your, your journey to this. Okay? And look, masculines focusing on that journey to that. Look at all the pentacles we had here, right? It's now you guys are really starting to do things, the life's priorities. Not getting caught up on, on illusions and stuff, okay? It's time to buckle down and get things done in the 3D world for your betterment. All right. My lovely light counterparts. This concludes your reading. Thank you so much for watching for being here, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, for illuminating that thumbs up button, I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send so, so much love. And I hope I illuminated your well-being on your light counterpart journey today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness. Starry out. <laughs>